Hi everyone, Brad here again, uh, and in this video, I hope it's a short one, I simply want to explore something that is more than just an idle curiosity of mine uh, when it comes to plug-in hybrid vehicles, and that is, what turns the air conditioning compressor, uh, and does it actually have one, i.e. does it have an air conditioning compressor, or is there some other mechanism that they use to uh, mimic that functionality? So uh, anyway, I guess I'll try to keep it brief, but if that's something you folks are interested in, please stick around. Thanks. Oh, hey folks, uh, so as I say, this video is really just about me satisfying my curiosity as to how uh, an air conditioning compressor would work on a plug-in hybrid, and of course how Honda did it with the Clarity. So I did what every normal person would do, I went straight to the internet, the uh, knower of all things, <laughs> right? Um, uh, but what I did do is I searched out 2018 Honda Clarity Touring, which is what I have, uh, air conditioning compressor unit. and. Um, it was interesting what came back. So A, that gave me what to look for uh, predominantly when I popped the hood to have a look. And of course it looks like, most of that looks like you'd expect out of an air conditioning compressor for any other car. Some lines coming out of the back, um, you know, inputs, outputs, uh, obviously there's a control module for all that stuff. But what was also more interesting, of course, is there was a big ass uh, orange conduit uh, that goes up to the front of it. Um, and it was probably a couple feet long. I'd have to double check now because I'm obviously driving and not in front of it. But so that, uh, clearly tells me that there's an electric motor off the front of that air conditioning compressor uh, and it obviously spins uh, completely unrelated to any other mechanism whether it's the uh, electric motor that moves the car or obviously the ICE uh, that's not connected to that at all so that's pretty cool um, I'll put a link down to that picture below but also um, I wasn't satisfied to stop there so I cracked the hood on this thing uh, and wanted to find it so again an air conditioning compressor is pretty easy to find you follow the coolant pipes uh, they're bright aluminum, probably about three quarters of an inch uh, in diameter, probably. Um, and of course, they go right down to where you'd expect to find an air conditioning compressor on a normal car. Uh, and they're off the front, what would be the front of the motor on this, just above the oil filter, actually. So if you're standing at the front of the car with the hood up, looking at the motor, it's just on the left. And you don't have to remove anything either to get at it, frankly, so that's kind of good. But, so yes, it has a compressor. Uh, yes, it's oddly in a place where you'd expect it. I guess it's just easier for packaging. Um, and importantly, it doesn't seem like it would actually have a clutch on it like a typical AICE and, uh, air conditioning compressor would because, again, if you're not using AC, that thing has to freewheel because the crankshaft, uh, the belt uh, attached to the crankshaft always spins the pulley on the front of an air conditioning compressor. So interesting, it uh, com probably completely removes uh, any need to have a clutch on that thing, which is one less moving part or a mechanism that can fail or wear. So that's cool. Um, yes, there's some complexity involved with having a uh, 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 another electrical uh, electric component there, like as in a motor, of course, a small electric motor to spin the AC compressor. But I was kind of uh, surprised to see, or uh, pleasantly surprised to see that that's how it is. Um, again, what I'll do here is I'll link the picture below just to satisfy your curiosity if you have it, uh, as well as I'll take a quick video, I'll attach it to the end of this one to show you under the hood where you can find it. So anyway, uh, short video, not exactly compelling, but it does satisfy a curiosity of mine. Uh, and I now I'm actually go, uh, going to go and explore how other uh, PHEVs do the same thing. Um, you know, I'd like to know how Tesla does it, frankly, because again, um, there's no ICE in that thing at all. So it must be a completely unique mechanism to that car. So anyway, uh, like I say, I'll attach the other portion to the back of this video here so you can see what the under the what it looks like under the hood. Um, Excuse me, and if you've made it this far, as always, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes. And if you haven't yet subscribed, maybe do me a big solid and uh, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Anyway, folks, uh, all the best. We'll chat with you in the next video. Take care. Uh, hey, folks, so as I mentioned, this is the air conditioning compressor way down. Let's just set the light down there. It's these, well, these are the pipes, right? You can see there, it goes right down into that mechanism right about there. Uh, and then I haven't confirmed, but this big ass orange cable uh, appears to be the one that goes into it. Is that true? I'd have to get under the car to look. But um, again, this would be the quote unquote front side of the motor uh, if this is a longitudinal motor, but of course it's transverse. So that's the front, the crankshaft pulley must be down there. Uh, and as I say, it's just, the compressor is just above the oil filter 
which let's see if we get the light in there to see. Uh, not very easy. Oh, there it is, the blue oil filter down there. So anyway, um, yeah, it's typical from that standpoint, but again, it, it's uh, run by electricity, an electric motor off the front of that, rather than a uh, anything to do with the crankshaft, of course, or anything to do with a secondary pulley system, I guess. So anyway, interesting, now I know, and now I'm curious as heck if that's how it is with other uh, electric plug-in hybrid vehicles. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. See you next video.